So what's no mind? What's no self? In our mind, we can think of all sorts of things. And what would that do? We can create things, do something good, bad, go to jail, or have money. There, there are options. So we feel we have free will to choose anything we want if we know how to play the game, how to use our mind. So that, I guess, is the point of people believing in free will. How does the no mind, no self relate to free will? It doesn't. Whatever you do, what you call free will, is just a play of game, a game play. If you find it meaningful, you accumulate wealth, you became famous, you solve problem, or you go to jail, or you're happily married, or have delusion. It looks like we have the freedom in our mind. So the mind was created out of the Garden of Eden when we ate the fruit of knowledge, when you play with knowledge. As a result, we can talk listen, watch, sleep, as we wish. Who are we that we wish? Even we can think like that, so it's we will. Are we happy? You can say we have a choice to be happy or unhappy. It depends how you use your mind. Do you know how to use your mind? If you do, you make the most of it. And many may feel that we are making the most of it. Using our mind. The talent we have, the words and the logic we acquire with free will. Or is it, in a way, like a painting that you paint without any substance? Because it's a game. If you know it's a game and there's no substance, what is it? Does that make you feel liberated? if you know how to use your mind. But if you don't, like a delusion may pop up, some may kill themselves by losing money or losing fame or not accomplishing that he thought he could accomplish. But if that was your choice, what's to be depressed or deluded about? If your mind, if you can see your mind, how it plays, as if you are the third person or with the third eye, some may call it. So there's you and there's another you, so to speak, observing
so that you don't get into the deluded state. And if that's done, that's wisdom. And there may be compassion come with it. I call it when you can do that, you are connected with your heart. So on one hand, we have mind that we use, but because we know the root of it, and know that it's a game, we may be awakened. If this game that we use mind it causes lots of suffering, war, hung, hungry people, anger, depression, can you be free from that? If that's just a game, some may say you're free. We could be free. With the eyes of wisdom, detached. But if you have a sense, compassion, watching people murdered, jumping off the window to kill himself, psychologically in despair. Would you be able to see that as just a game? Looks like depends on what position you take. You can take a position of detachment with a calm and clear mind, as if from the third person's view, or you can call it the view of the universe. The one who sees In silent if you are spiritually awakened you accept all Because the game that human play is their own making. So if you are alive, you accept all. detached or be compassionate bring out wisdom or stay quiet or jump to the other side in the mind and play the game with the people who Rust, mischievous thought, deluded thought, trouble, yet maintain that awareness. So you might influence, and if not, you just let the things to be.
being silent. I think it's all right to have wish may all beings be happy. If your parents and kids are doing some mischief as thieves, you want to help them. If you have skill to guide them. If it's beyond your contribution, because of the distance, because of the difficulty of communication, you just stay. Thought cannot go beyond thought unless there is wisdom. And even wisdom and compassion may not carry their weight. have a cup of tea look around be calm and quiet and find whatever that you can contribute Wishing the best. Find the work. And live toward the possibility. Yet remain calm and quiet. 